Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an about me page using HTML and CSS. This is the page we're going to be creating. So a title right here, a nice image with a star and uh, a small paragraph of text. So uh, if you want to learn more of this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell notification icon and select all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. I'm going to be providing the I will provide you with uh, a link to the resources, meaning this image right here and this background image. So go ahead, click the link in the description, download uh, the resources and code along with me. With that being said, let's get started. I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I opened it with my text editor, which in my case is uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create an index.html file and uh, a style.css and the folder called images. I'm going to grab these two images and uh, place them inside the folder. And I'm also going to open this in the browser. Okay, good. Now let's go to the index.html. I'm going to create a basic structure. Change the title to about me. Let's link our CSS style sheet. So I'm going to use the link element style.css and for the structure, I'm going to create a section, give it an ID of about. Inside here, a div with a class of container. Inside the container, I'm going to create uh, an H2 element and say about. Below the about, I'm going to place a div with a class of about content, so about content. And inside here, another div with a class of about photo. And I'm going to place the image, so source images, and uh, put uh, about photo.png. And right here at alt, I'm going to say John Doe photo. Below the about photo div, I'm going to create a paragraph. And here I'm going to say lorem, let's say 70. Let me text wrap here. And uh, this should be it for the HTML. Let's take a look. As you can see, this is what we have. And now let's move on to the style.css and make it look good, shall we? So actually, first of all, I need to go to fonts.google.com and uh, search for railway. Select this. I'm going to pick the, the regular one and the bold one. I'm going to say embed import, copy this text, uh, I'm going to paste it right here, and now I'm going to, let's uh, change the windows right here, okay, now let's start with some general styling, I'm going to select everything using the asterisk, and I'm going to say margin 0, padding 0, box sizing, set it to border box, Select the HTML and say font size 10 pixels. For the body, I'm going to say font family, set it to railway and sans serif. And now let's create the container class. So that container, uh, max width 1100 pixels, margin 0 auto and uh, padding 0 on top and bottom, 3 RAM on left and right. And let's take a look. As you can see, our styling uh, is working. And now let's style the, the actual uh, about section. So I'm going to scroll a bit, select the about section, so hashtag about, give it a background URL and select the image, so images about background.png um, background repeat no repeat and the background size cover okay uh, now I'm gonna select the h2 so about h2 color white so fff font size 3.6 RAM, uh, font weight 400, 
uh, text align set it to center and the uh, padding top 6 rem uh, okay now I'm gonna use the after pseudo selector so about h2 column after and I'm gonna say uh, content and leave it empty and the uh, display set it to block margin 0 auto uh, margin top 1.5 rem uh, give it a width of 50 pixels a background use an orange color I'm gonna say FF9E44 um, and the height of 3 pixels as you can see we have this little line right here now let's select the about content so I'm gonna say hashtag about dot uh, container dot about dash content and uh, give it a display of flex okay let's make it uh, flex direction column good um, align items center and the margin top 6 rem okay and now let's select the paragraph so about dot container dot about dash content p font size set it to 1.8 rem um, color white fff text align center line height um, for RAM give it a width of 80% a margin top of 6 RAM and the padding bottom of 6 RAM and uh, that should do it let's take a look and as you can see maybe give it the 8 RAM padding bottom okay and uh, that should do it this is the page that i showed you in the beginning if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video take care